Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and I write for Combat Handguns Magazine. And today we're going to be shooting one of the guns of my youth, uh, one of the double action revolvers that I carried back in the 70s. And even though we've all switched over, it seems like now, to automatics, these 357 Magnum revolvers like Ruger's Security 6, they can still do the job. And in fact, they hit as hard as anything. So let's take a look at some of its features. When I was young, double action revolvers like this Ruger Security 6 chambered in 357 Magnum ruled the roost. I bought my first Security 6 in 1973, about a year after they hit the market. I paid $125, so those were the good old days. This was Ruger's first foray into the police, personal defense, and uh, general self-defense markets. Up until then, Ruger only made single action revolvers and 22 semi-auto pistols. Back then, it was easy to be a gun writer. If you got stuck for an idea, all you had to do was write a piece called Smith or Wesson or Colt. Which is better? Then in 1972, Ruger slipped in the Security 6 and they changed the whole paradigm. The Security 6 can be fired in either double action mode or it can be thumb cocked for a single action fire. The cylinder latch is a push button on the left hand recoil shield, which is really different from either the Colt or the Smith & Wesson cylinder release latches. The sights on the Security 6 were really state-of-the-art for 1972, and they're still good today. The red insert front sight is highly visible, it's very easy to use, and the click adjustable rear sight is well designed, it's robust, and it's very accurate, it holds it zero very well. Even though I don't recommend a 6-inch revolver for concealed carry, I've got to tell you, this Milt Spark Summer Classic holster from Galco really does hide the Security 6 pretty well. You can carry this and it's really not that uncomfortable. But I don't think that's where these guns shine. In my book, revolvers still trump semi-autos as home defense guns. And the Security 6 is as good now as it ever was in that regard. Uh, the Security 6 stayed in production until 1988. And that's when it was pushed aside by the redesigned version called the GP100, which we still have today. Ordinarily, I do my handgun videos with 15 yards uh, for my shooting range, but it just seems like a waste to use this 357 Magnum at just 15 yards. So we've got Evil Roy hanging out 25 yards downrange, and uh, let's see what we can do. This gun might have been made in 1973, but it can still put them down. As I've mentioned before, we're all living with the great ammo drought of uh, 2013. So that's affecting me as much as it is anybody else. I've got to scramble around just to find the factory ammo I need to do gun tests for magazine articles. But uh, I got a care package from Winchester and I just wanted to give them my thanks. And what we've got here whoops, is Winchester Supreme. It's 125 grain PDX-1 357 Magnum hollow points and uh, they've been quite accurate for me so far so that's what we're shooting today in the Ruger Security 6 and uh, a little tip of the hat to Winchester thank you
Well, we've moved up to the 15 yard line and let's run the Ruger Security 6 in double action mode and see how we do. Old Roy is down. Let's see how well I can control these 357 Magnum shooting with one hand. Alright, I know some of you have probably rarely and maybe even never shot revolvers uh, because auto pistols are so prevalent now. But they're not as arcane or as old-fashioned as you might think. They get the job done. They are certainly a little bit slower to load. And even, uh, even with speed loaders, they're not that great. They've got to load from the back of the cylinder. But I'll be honest with you, in most self-defense situations, I mean, not law enforcement or military, <clears throat> you're not going to be doing a lot of reloading anyway. Alright, so that's how we load them. All locked up. And, let's see. Now, this is certainly not easy for me to aim through the viewfinder, but... Yep, not easy at all. The problem is it's so bright today, we've got a lot of glare on the screen. Now, to unload, we just flip it open. Got the, uh, the oak. Bang, they're out. So, it's really pretty simple. Well, we've got some two liter bottles set up and we've got the Security 6 loaded up with 357 Magnums. Let's see if we can make them jump. Yeah, those magnum loads are hard hitting. Well, I always consider this a moment of truth for me, shooting clay birds with a pistol. So, let's take the Ruger Security 6 and see if I can bust some birds. Well, I hit two of them without really busting them up, just drilling straight on through them. So, I think I'm going to set them up and try them again. I'm going to try the Ruger on the Clay Birds again, see if we can get a break this time. I've loaded up with 38 Specials instead of 357 Magnums to see if a lower velocity will shatter the birds instead of just drilling right through. The only problem is I've been shooting the 357 Magnum with 125 grain bullets, 
And right now, I am, uh, I'm loaded up with 158 grain 38 special, so I'm not really sure how far off the sights are going to be. But let's give it a try and see what's the worst that can happen. I miss. shooting a little bit high I'm gonna load up again come back and pick up those last few because now I think I know where to point it well I got them all I had to aim quite a bit lower though. And we'll finish up with the bad guy's view of the Ruger Security 6.